Hello everyone, I am Shane Conley. I lead product here at Vectara. Um, and what we're going to do is walk through the creation of a corpus here inside of Vectara. And we're going to start from actually the beginnings of getting started with Vectara, which is to create an account. So let's do that real quick. All right, so we can register an account at, at the start. So we're going to do that. Um, I'll put in my name. Ask for a country, and we agree to our terms, and this will kick off a process at this point. You can use a social login as well, uh, obviously, um, but we're going to kick off this process to uh, do our email registration. And the first thing that you see when you're uh, logging into a Vectar account is a sort of onboarding wizard. Um, we encourage folks to, to do this just to get a sense of uh, sort of what Vectar entails, but you absolutely can skip straight out and, and start using it directly if you already kind of know what you want to do. Um, we'll just go ahead and do this real quick. There's a, a sort of fake employee handbook that talks about, um, you know, our dinosaur and bird policy at, at Vectara, uh, for example, and bringing other pets, exotic pets into the office. So we'll do this. We'll create our corpus and uh, the onboarding wizard will automatically do that. Um, and we'll click on the add the handbook to our corpus and that should go relatively quickly and we'll drop straight into a sort of example widget or, or uh, UI on, you know, the ability to ask a question like our foster offers a welcome to the office and we get summarized answers from the document that are done here. Now, I'm going to close this out and I'll show you, I'll walk you through uh, creating a corpus from scratch. So normally, if you if you had exited uh, that you know wizard, the onboarding wizard, or um, you know after you've done it, you'll be dropped onto this corpus creation page. And the first step is to create a corpus uh, for basically anything that you do inside of inside of Vectara. Um, you know, a, a corpus is basically a container where you upload all of your data to be ingested and grouped together. And it's a single sort of location for querying. So um, we're here, and uh, you know you also can access this via a corpus or a corpora uh, tab that will start showing up here after we create at least one. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and create a corpus. Now the only really required thing to do is to name it, um, and so we're going to maybe call this one webinar. Um, or maybe we're going to call this a research because I'm going to throw some research documents in here. Uh, that's the only required field for here. Uh, you actually can grab out how you can programmatically create corpora as well um, by clicking on this uh, show API request. And there are a few additional options. You know, down here, you don't have to fill these out if you don't want to, but you can add a description. Uh, you can, if you're on a scale uh, plan, which is our enterprise plan, you can add a few additional options. Um, and you can also add it add filter attributes. Filter attributes are uh, a mechanism sort of, of sort of providing SQL-like queries and, and filtering into your metadata. Um, so you can do that. I'm not going to do that for this onboarding uh, example, but you can always go back and add additional filter uh, attributes after you've added documents as well. So we're going to go ahead and create this corpus. You can see that we have created our uh, corpus successfully, we called it research. Um, and now the next step, step is to start uploading some data. And you can see here we have a couple different options. We can load a sample data, which is that same uh, employee handbook that we talked about a moment ago. We can upload files of our own, or we can actually use the indexing API. So Vectar is intended to be used uh, both by users of the console as well as folks that are uh, uploading JSON or other programmatic documents into uh, the API. Um, across that API. In this case, just to maybe expedite things instead of setting up an application, and we'll walk back a little bit into the indexing API, I'll, I'll do a little file upload, okay? So here I'm just granted a drag drop location for files, and we'll do that. Um, I've actually got a research paper handy here. This is a, a paper that was just released uh, very recently by, by Microsoft um, on, uh, 
comparing fine tuning or uh, retrieval augmented generation for uh, for adding knowledge into large language models. Okay, so that's the the context of this, and and we can sort of see an example. Um, and we'll once we've finished uploading, you can see that we have successfully uploaded. We can pop over to the query tab.